morning, everybody. Uh, my name is Gadi Eisenstein. I'm very happy to welcome you all to the uh, Zyden Symposium on Quantum Science. Uh, we here at Technion uh, hold a series of symposia sponsored by uh, one of our strong uh, supporters of the Technion, the Zyden family. And uh, we chose uh, this one now, this in the summer of 2016, to serve as the uh, inauguration event for our newly established Center for Quantum Science, uh, Matter and Engineering. This new center is destined to become the main research activity in the physical sciences uh, across campus. Uh, it is only fitting, therefore, that we inaugurate the center with a symposium which we happily uh, brought in a large number of prominent uh, scientific leaders uh, from all over the world and we thank you very much for uh, taking part in this. I think universities are judged by the ability to predict the future, to think about areas of research that uh, are important and uh, will make a change. And I think the Technion over the years showed this ability of looking into the future. So let me introduce this idea of quantum simulations to you. Let me talk about some new experiments, recent experiments we've done. Well, it's a wonderful conference bringing together so many people from different fields of quantum science and technology, and so many exciting new directions and fields. So it's really fun to be here and listen to all these new directions. And at the edge, this is the very simplistic picture of current transport. I really want to talk about excitons and how they transport energy across excitonic and organic, inorganic. The interesting point in entangled states is that you have what he calls only joint expectation catalogs for the measurements and not the individuals, which means you have correlations without correlata, as Mermin called it. Why do we need quantum information and quantum computation? The quantum many body physics, quantum entanglement, and so on will define the next frontiers of measurement science. I want to congratulate uh, Technion to, uh, for opening this new center of quantum science because I think that the quantum technology really is the future of technology and I know Israel has always been emphasizing strongly on the development of science and technology. I think this is going to play an important role educating a, a new generation of young scientists who will explore new frontiers of science and technology using quantum physics. Those uh, dispersion forces, they depend on the dielectric contrast. So the first one will just introduce the idea of giant optical nonlinearities. So it's a laser cooling system. We use laser cooling and evaporative cooling. So I will talk a bit about the background of topological insulators and why you think you can find it in especially these materials. Finding more and more uh, robust quantum phenomena which is linked to topological properties of uh, phases of matter. So I'm going to talk about quantum walks. I'll explain you what they are. This is a work that we have been working on for several years. So here I want to describe what is known as Auger. So my view of, of the vacuum field has totally changed over the, over the last 10 years because of this, trying to do these experiments. It's fascinating to see what's going on in quantum physics, engineering, and I believe this new center will be a real success for Technion and for the field. You can think about it as a bunch of billiard balls which have a hard core. It's okay to make mistakes. It's okay to have errors, as long as you know when you make one. And this is really the morale also for quantum information processing and quantum computing. I'm happy that we managed to get this event. I'm happy זה מאוד מעודד למצוא התעניינות אצל גדולי עולם בנעשה בטכניון וגם מאוד מעודד לראות שהעבודות שמיוצרות כאן בטכניון הן ברמה, בוורד קלאס מה שנקרא, ברמה בינלאומית ומעוררת עניין והלוואי שזה יימשך ככה. Recent review just a few years ago, um, no one theory on hyperfine coupling has been able to explain all the optical experiments that are out there. So the first new or quantum state of matter that we're interested in is a collective quantum state of uh, a superconductor. 
טוב, החשיבות העיקרית זה האנשים החשובים שהביאו לפה, זאת האמת. לשמוע את האנשים האלה, לראות אותם כשהם מגיעים לפה, לטכניון. הזדמנות בכלל אפילו להחליף איתם כמה מילים, להסביר להם אולי מה העבודה שלך, זה ממש הזדמנות שחשובה בשבילנו. We have uh, designed for this symposium uh, one session that is uh, dedicated uh, to talks by uh, PhD students from Technion. Uh, the, the purpose of that is rather obvious. We like to allow our young generation of scientists to have a chance to talk to uh, the kind of audience that we have gathered here. And I will talk about optical angular momentum dynamics in the eyes of the beholder. This is a solid state based quantum simulator, and then I will present our recent uh, experimental results. Yeah, so I met a uh, lot of great uh, professors and uh, really friendly people who, who really want to young people into uh, science and make the, the world progress. In simple terms, we, we've been working on making teeny tiny accelerators. Our goal is to shrink the mega accelerator into a tiny one. Advancement in electron spin resonance microscopy can give us uh, additional tools that may be used in implementation of quantum computation. What is interesting to me in science and in technology, and in general in quantum computing or in quantum mechanics, is that it's possible to connect things between things practical, מוסדות אלקטרומגנטיים, אותות אופטיים נורא מהירים ואפקטים קוונטיים שקראנו עליהם בספרים ולמדנו עליהם ב... לא בתיכון אבל בתואר ראשון, דברים שהם נורא מלהיבים. וכשיש כנס כזה אפשר לראות עולם, אפשר לראות מה אנשים מתעסקים ולראות מה מעניין אנשים, אני חושב שזה מאוד מדליק, יכול לתת השראה, במיוחד למי שמחפש מה מעניין אותו ומה יהיה שווה להתעסק בעוד אה, מספר שנים, מספר אה, עשרות שנים מהיום. כדי לבנות, גם, גם ברמה האישית, לבנות מזה קריירה, וגם ברמה המדעית, לעשות דברים מעניינים וכיפיים, שזה הכי חשוב. Because as the things become smaller and smaller in the nanoscale, the laws of nature, generally speaking, start to become quantum, whether you want it or not. And that's where we started to lay the foundation to this. אנחנו הסתכלנו קצת קדימה, לתוך העתיד, איזה דברים מעניינים באמת. והבנו שהננו-טכנולוגיה, ברגע שאתה מקטין דברים, אז אין מה לעשות, צריך להתעסק באספקטים הקוונטיים. כך הרמנו את הפרויקט שבבסיסו יושב, יושבים אפקטים קוונטיים ממדע בסיסי כל הדרך להנדסה. ואז כשחשבנו איזה מרצים להזמין, אז שיקול דעת היה להזמין מגוון שבדיוק ייתן איזושהי פרספקטיבה על זה. אז הצבנו את הכנס פחות או יותר בדמותו של החזון שאנחנו רוצים להרים. ובהתאם לזה הזמנו את האנשים המובילים בעולם בתחומים.